हरि ओ वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर राय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पत नम बुद्धिबल यशोधर्य निर्भयतामगता अजाड्यम वाक्पटुच हनुमस्मरणा भवे शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दशंकोकशंक सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर परमानंदम ब्रह्म निष्ठम यतीश्वर भाष्यभ्रांतिहर वंदे शुद्धज्ञानकबोधक ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवद्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओम नम शिवाय 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 नम पार्वती पत हर हर महादेव हरि ओम हरि ओम विल बिगिन विद द शांति मंत्र ओम भद्रं कर्णे भीषुणुयाम देवाह भद्रं पश्ये माक्षजत्रा स्थिरंग स्तुष्टुवागम सस्तनो विषेम देवितयदायु स्वस्ति नईन्द्रो वृद्धश्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्ति नस्ताक्षो अरिष्ट नैमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओ शाति 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 हरि 
will chant from mantra number one, first section, third chapter. Dva suparna sayuja sakaya samanam vriksham parishashva jate tayoranya pippalam swadvati anashnananyo abhichakashiti samane vrikshe purusho nimagnaha anishaya shochati muhyamanaha jushtam yada pashyati anyamisham Asya mahimanam iti vita shokaha Yada pasya pasya te rukma varnam Kartaramisham purusham brahma yonim Tada vidvan punya pape vidhuya Niranjana paramam samyam upaiti Prano yesha yasarva bhuter vibhati Vijanan vidvan Bhavate nati vadi Atma creed Atma rati kriyavan Esha brahma vidam varishtha Satena labyas tapasa yesha atma Samyaknyane na brahma charyena nityam Antashari re jotir mayo hishubraha Yam pashanti atayakshina dosha. Hariyo. So in this uh, section, the teacher begins with uh, this metaphor of the two birds which are sitting on the same tree. One is eating the fruits and another is just watching. So within this body also, there is this sense of I which is uh, both the jiva as well as Ishvara. Due to ignorance, I consider myself the karta, bhokta, nyata, that is the jiva. But when I come to realize, I come to know that I myself am Ishvara, the supreme self, param atma. So even when I I am ignorant in the sense when the ignorance is there in the buddhi at the same time I am in my higher nature I exist as that Ishwar only even though I may not know I am Ishwara I am that Brahma so when I come to recognize that Ishwara as my own self I become free from this samsara. Then a person who has realized this self always revels in that self. Atma kridaha, atma ratihi kriyavan. And such a person is a best among the knowers of the self. So in order to recognize this self, realize this self, first is we have to understand this self, this param atma that is Brahma, we have to understand that Brahma with the help of our Buddhi. And we can understand this Brahma with the help of Buddhi when the Buddhi becomes pure. And to make the Buddhi pure, we have to pursue the path of Karma Yoga, Upasana, and also cultivating the values like Satya, Tapas, Brahmacharya, etc. So the importance of those values are given here. Ki satena labhyaha tapasa yesha atma samyak jnane na brahma charyena nityam. So that atma can be attained. We can attain our own self, which is not as though not attained due to ignorance. I can attain myself through satya, through tapas, through brahmacharya, and through proper knowledge. Satena labhyaha tapasa yesha atma samyak jnane na brahma charyena nityam. And when we gain that, when we pursue and cultivate these values, then we come to realize that self in this body itself. Antashrire jyotir mayo hishubraha yam pasyanti yatayakshina doshaha. 
Last time we had seen this uh, mantra, but we did not see the second half of this mantra. Actually, by mistake, I did the first half of this mantra and the second half of the next mantra. Because it appeared similar to me. So today we will do it properly. Ki satyena labhyaha tapasa yesha atma samyak jnanena brahmacharyena nityam. Shankara Chaiji writes, Ki our practice of satya, tapas and brahmacharya should be nityam. Not once in a week or once a year or once in a while. He says no. Ki sarvada. He says nityam satyena, nityam tapasa, nityam samyak jnanena. It is sarvatra nitya shabdaha antar deepika jnayena anushaktavyaha. This uh, terms nitya should be applied to all these uh, values. So satya should be at all times. Not only on some festival. Also the practice of tapas should be constant at all times. And brahmachari also should be at all times. Somebody asked our Pujya Gurudev Swami Chinmayananji Maharaj, Ki how long should we meditate to attain that self-realization? He said only 24 hours per day. 24 hours per day if you meditate, then you will attain that Brahma. Means it should be Nityam. So, na eshu jimham anratam cha maya cha. So, one who doesn't have any impurities in the antakarana will be able to see that atma within this body itself. So, where will we see? Shankara Chariji writes further in his commentary. Ki ko asav atma ya etai sadhanai hi labhya iti uchyate. That what is this atma? which is attained through this sadhana of satya, tapas, brahmacharya, samyak, jnana. Yeah? Where is it attained? He says, antas sharire, in this body itself. Antar madde sharirasya pundari ka akashe. So this physical body which we have, inside this is our subtle body, the, the uh, sukshma sharir in which there is this antakkarana and in this antakkarana uh, which is experienced in the which is called the heart in that one experiences one comes to rec recognize that supreme self antashareire antar madde sharirasya pundari ka akashi in that lotus uh, heart in this uh, sukshma sharir Jyotir Mayohi Rukma Varna, that uh, brilliant and shining Atma, which is uh, like, a, like gold, Rukma Varna, Shubraha, which is extremely pure, Shuddha, Yat, Yam Atmanam Pashyati, one comes to see. With the purified Buddhi, we are able to see, means we are able to recognize our own self. We are able to recognize our own inner self, that Paramatma who is there within us, we will be able to recognize when our antakkarana, our buddhi becomes extremely pure and purified. Due to impurity, we see only duality, we see only differences. But when that antakkarana becomes pure, we will be able to recognize that supreme within our own antakkarana. So, shuddha yam atmanam pasyanti upalabhante yataha yatana shila sannyasinaha. So, that one who puts forth effort, the seeker, comes to understand that uh, uh, self, supreme self, with the help of the buddhi. And once we come to understand this, thereafter we can meditate 
to gain abidance in this self. So, Kshina Doshaha, one whose all defects have gone away, such a seeker will be able to see that Paramatma within. Kshina Krodhadi Chitta Malaha, when all the impurities of the mind, like anger, jealousy, pride, go away. Uh, a sincere seeker who has renounced all other activities and following the proper path of sannyas is able to realize that self within. Again, let me give this example. So we have this, uh, our own body, huh? physical body is there with which we experience this world. So consider this as the body and we are experiencing this world, we see, huh? we gain the knowledge of Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasagandha, of sound, taste, touch, etc. All this we gain through this body only. But body itself is made up of matter. Body is matter only, physical matter. So how does this body function? This body functions because there is a subtle body inside which makes it function. Just like in a mobile, there is a, not only the hardware but there is a software which makes the mobile function. So the software of our uh, personality is this sukshma shari, the subtle body. So inside this gross body is our subtle body. But this should be made pure. Now there is something inside, all sorts of uh, things are there in this our buddhi. Misunderstanding, wrong understanding, lot of samskar, anger, jealousy, greed, pride, vasanas, fear, everything is there in this. Hmm? So it should be purified through our sadhana. So when we purify it, our our buddhi becomes uh, extremely clean and in the clean buddhi what is there in this clean buddhi there is space uh, just like in this in this glass you see there is space so this buddhi when it becomes extremely clean then it comes to recognize that space within and comes to understand that space inside and space outside is one. There remains no duality, there remains no nothing to separate that buddhi from anything else. And when that understanding happens, with that understanding when we meditate, we come to realize that I myself am that Brahma. I and that Brahma are one. Aham Brahmasmi, I am that Brahma. In this way, one come to realize this Supreme Self. Hmm. So, the path of uh, Vedanta which says that first you purify your mind, then through Sharvan Manan gain that self-knowledge, and through Niridhyasan gain that abidance in your own self. So same thing is said now in the next mantra, again giving the importance of purification of our antakkarana. So let us chant mantra number six. Satyameva jayate nandritam satye napantha vitato devayanaha ye nakramanti rishayo yaptakamaha Yatra tat satyasya paramam nidhanam Satyam eva jayate nandritam Satye napantha vitato devayanaha Enakramantir shayo yapta kamaha Yatra tat satyasya paramam nidhanam Satyam eva jayate All of us we have heard this this is the beautiful mantra and this has been adopted by our uh, country, our nation Bharat. On 26 January 1950, 
when that uh, republic it happened uh, as a republic this was taken adopted as a national motto satya meva jayate and this has been taken from this mundaka upanishad but only half the statement half the sentence is taken unfortunately half only the sentence is taken the complete sentence is satya meva jayate nan ritam that is the complete sentence and what does it mean satya meva jayate means satya alone wins na anritam and not falsehood satya alone wins not falsehood that is the complete statement that if we want to attain that supreme goal of uh, absolute reality then the path also is of satya only supreme is pure so the path also is pure supreme has got all great qualities so we should also develop those qualities see like if you want to catch a let us say a train if you want to board a train and you arrive at the platform a little late and the train is already moving it has not left but it is moving so what do you do you also run alongside the train on the platform hmm you should not go and jump into the train but the train is moving quite fast i mean not very fast also so you run along the train and when your speed and the speed of the train is same then you just board the train you will just be able to walk into the train hmm sometimes we see that they can uh, this uh, aeroplane and all some of the aeroplane which they use in the in air force and all sometimes they 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 fuel they put the fuel in it even while it is in flight so one plane is there it requires some fuel so another plane will go with the fuel and it matches its uh, speed and when the speed becomes same uh, from their standpoint that both the plane is like stationary only so from one plane they can put the fuel in the other plane similarly if we want to attain that supreme self that parmatma and what is that parmatma it is indicated as satyam so this value of satyam we should bring in our life also in our speech in our attitude in our emotions in our thinking in our relationship in everything we should have this uh, value of satyam hmm then we will be able to easily recognize our own self as brahma it will get tuned our buddhi will get tuned to our own inner self through pu- purity just like our uh, this uh, radio is there suppose you want to hear the uh, the music on the, let us say fm so you switch on the radio and then you have to tune the radio to the correct frequency they tell they tell the correct frequency also 98.1 or something then you just tune it to that frequency and when it gets tuned correctly then what is already being uh, transmitted you can hear your radio receiver is just a receiver it doesn't create music it just receives the music which is already transmitted somewhere else 
similarly our buddhi doesn't create that knowledge when buddhi becomes extremely pure buddhi comes to understand that uh, parmatma which is there in that buddhi that pure nirmal shuddha parmatma who is there we come to recognize in our own antakkarana and then with the help of the shastra we also know that that parmatma am i so this purity of the buddhi is very important and that is indicated here ki satyam eva jayate jayate na anrutam shankara chaji writes ki satyam eva satyavanena uh, satyavan eva jayati na anrutam na anrutavadi iti ityarthah here shankara chaji says satya is not a value which exists separately it is a value which is pursued by a person a seeker so when it is said satya alone wins shankara chaji says one who speaks the truth alone wins one who pursues this value one who imbibes this value in his life wins na anrutam and not one who goes after falsehood see ultimately only the truth alone wins in mahabharat also the truth is indicated as dharma only so wherever there is dharma there alone lies victory because wherever there is dharma there alone is ishvara and wherever there is ishvara there alone is all victory hmm therefore in the last concluding shloka of bhagavad gita also it is said yatra yogeshvara krishna yatra partho dhanurdharah tatra shreer vijayo bhutihi dhruvani tirmatir mama so where there is partha dhanurdhar partha is a kshatriya arjuna is holding his bow arrow and perceiving his path of dharma with that arjuna is krishna krishna doesn't leave arjuna who is following the path of dharma sometimes we become weak we become disheartened we become uh, confused but even in this situation in such situation we should not leave the path of dharma and bhagwan will always be there with us and when bhagwan is there then we will definitely gain that victory so satyam eva jayate na andrutam see sometimes people they follow the path of truth and simultaneously they follow the path of uh, lie uh, lies also then that truth is not truth suppose you ask a person that uh, are you truthful he says yes how much truthful are you i am 90% truthful if somebody is 90% truthful you will not be able to rely on that person because you never know when he is expressing his 10 other percent so truthfulness and all other these values should be 100% not 99.9 so satyam eva jayate satya alone wins means ultimately the victory success achievement of our goal is possible only through satyam na andrutam see our buddhi is a very interesting and fascinating uh, instrument our buddhi is uh, naturally inclined towards uh, truth whatever gets presented in the buddhi the buddhi accepts it just like our eyes suppose something is there in front of your eyes you see it it doesn't your eyes if they are good good quality whatever is there in front is seen because the nature of the eyes is to show the color and the form 
without any bias without any uh, discrimination the eyes just shows you what is there in front suppose there is a red rose the eyes will show red rose you may not like red rose you may want to see blue rose but the eyes will show you red only because the eyes are therefore the eyes are called praman and the praman is that which shows the thing as it is similarly our shuddha buddhi is like uh, that praman when the scriptures the shastras are presented in front of the shuddha buddhi it just understands it accepts it and gains that abidance we will be able to gain abidance in our own supreme self hmm but that buddhi if it is corrupted by falsehood then we will not be able to pursue our subtler path i will sit for meditation and i want to meditate on myself as brahma but if my buddhi is corrupted then it will create hindrance in my path it will create obstacles in my path there will be a split in my inner uh, personality it will be a terrible thing and that is what generally happens in the life of many seekers that this tuning doesn't take place because there is contradiction in our buddhi even if the if the tatva is not understood properly if there is confusion in understanding the supreme brahma then also the buddhi will not be able to meditate properly huh? you cannot lie to the buddhi this brahma we have to know it is not that we have to hypnotize the buddhi that you are brahma therefore aham brahmasmi is not a japa which we have to do again and again aham brahmasmi i am brahma is not a vritti which we have to cultivate vritti can be cultivated japa can be done but aham brahmasmi is understanding understanding cannot be cultivated just by repeating some mantras and all you have to contemplate to understand so here it is said satyam eva jayate satyam alone will win na anrutam and not falsehood na anrutavadi those who lie those who pursue the path of falsehood will not be able to attain the supreme nahi satyanrutayo ho kevalayo ho purusha purushan ashrita yor jayah parajayah va sambhavati because this satya etc are the values which are upheld by a living person these values are not something uh, something uh, outside hmm it is not some some object outside that oh satya will win let me collect satya let me buy some satya from the market satya is that which is which is there within us which we have to practice we have to cultivate hmm so prasiddham loke satyavadini vadina anrutavadi abhibhuyate na viparyayo ant अतः सिद्ध सत्य बलवत् साधन साधन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो वी सी दट ट्रूथ अलोन वीन्स अल्टिमेटली समटाइम्स इट टेक्स टाइम बट ट्रूथ अलोन वीन्स बिकॉज ट्रूथ इज समथिंग विच इज अलाइव फॉल्सहुड इज डेड एंड इवन समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू tell a lie they tell a lie by saying that it is a truth i am telling you the truth huh? and then they will lie 
even if you want to use some counterfeit uh, money and all you have to present it as though it is truth as though it is real then only it can be used but it will not last like that it the truth will come out and falsehood will get destroyed ultimately so on the path of spirituality one has to hold on to this satya so the senses whatever we see in tune with the senses our mind also feels in tune with our feeling our thinking and understanding also should be there so first actually with the help of the shastras we should understand the supreme properly and based on the understanding we should have our feeling and based on our feeling and understanding we should have our activity we should express hmm we should tune our our actions and feelings as per our subtle understanding not the other way around many times what happen people keep on performing some action and then they will tune their emotions to their action and then with their intellect they will justify their actions that is not the path of uh, truthfulness many people they they will lie they will do all sorts of funny things in this world and then they will try to justify it that is not what is said here we have to understand what the right path is right goal is tune our emotions to that and tune our activities and speech etc to that don't try to justify your actions but let your actions be in tune to your deep proper understanding and conviction hmm if i am convinced about something properly through proper praman when i gain that knowledge and i am convinced then i should bring out that conviction in my emotions and then bring out that conviction in my actions also that is called satyam at all levels satyam at the level of action satyam at the level of uh, emotions and satyam at the level of speech i mean uh, understanding hmm? in the rigveda also there is this mantra shanti mantra वांग मे मनसी प्रतिष्ठिता मनो मे वाची प्रतिष्ठित आविरावीर्म ईधी सो लेट मै स्पीच बी एस्टैब्लिश इन मै मैंड लेट मै मैंड बी एस्टैब्लिश इन मै स्पीच मीन्स वॉट मै अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज देर इट शुड बी इन ट्यून अवर स्पीच शुड बी इन ट्यून विथ अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अवर एंड अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग be in tune with the speech means they should co- they sh- should be properly integrated if we act in one way feel something else and and know something else then that is a disintegrated personality if i am studying the shastras and all we understand oh i am brahma but my emotions when it comes out it comes out as i am deha only and my action outside is also very full of ignorance and and delusion then that is not proper so satya meva jayate na anrutam truth alone wins not falsehood and then further the says ki satyena pantha vitato devayanah this devayanah this path towards that supreme goal the path which leads towards that uh, supreme brahma is also spread out with the value of satya only in our shastra the path towards the supreme goal is also sp- 
मेड अप ऑफ सत्य यथाभूतवाद व्यवस्थया पंथा देवयान आख्या वितत विस्तीर्ण सातत्यन प्रवृत्त सो द पाथ टुवर्ड्स दैट देवयान विच लीड्स अस टू द सुप्रीम देवता इज ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ सत्य ओनली इवन भगवान इज कॉल सत्यनारायण सो दोज हु वट कॉल प्यूरिफाई द अंतकरण कल्टिवेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ सत्य रिमूव ऑल नेगेटिविटी फ्रॉम देअर अंतकरण लाइक अहंकार दंभ अनृत एक्सेट्रा दे परस्यू दिस पाथ विच इज लेट डाउन ऑन सत्य एंड देन दे एटेन दैट सुप्रीम सत्य बाय फॉलोइंग दिस पाथ दे एटेन द सुप्रीम सत्य सी समटाइम्स वी गो टू अ टेम्पल विच इज लोकेटेड ऑन अ ऑन अ हिल टॉप ऑफ अ हिल मेनी ऑफ अवर टेम्पल्स आर on top of a hill and all so let us say there is a beautiful hanuman ji's temple is there on the hill in goa there is one temple hanuman ji's temple on the hill and there are many steps which leads to that temple and if you go to that temple you will find that hanuman hanuman ji's murti is there which is made up of uh, stone hanuman ji's murti is made up of stone and and the and the steps which are there those steps are also made up of stones same type of stone huh black stone let us say granite at uh, this uh, basalt and all is there so i want to go to the temple i step on the stone then i step on the higher stone so i take support of the stone to walk to climb the, all the way to the temple and then when i see that murti oh it is also made up of stone but it is made in such a way you can see the beautiful features of hanuman ji and it is uh, hanuman ji's presence is uh, invoked there and we worship it we do namaskar and take blessings of bhagwan in the same way the path which we take to go towards brahma brahmai satyam param satyam satyam jnanam anantam brahma but what is the path path is also satyam only at the level of speech at the level of emotions at the level of understanding we have to walk that path of satya and then when we reach we will be able to attain that which is the very abode that which is the very uh, very uh, treasure house of satyam the param satyam hmm so shankaracharya ji writes ki satyasya ut यस्मिन् यस्तत्थतत्व सत्यम साधन से संबंधी साध्यम परम प्रकृष्ट निधान दैट विच इज एटेन थ्रू द साधना ऑफ सत्य एंड ऑल द वेरी निधान द वेरी ट्रेजर द वेरी सोर्स ऑफ दैट सत्य इज दैट परमात्मा सो दैट परमात्मा इज एटेन सो पुषाथेण निधीयते निधान वर्त है तथन पथ आक्रमती स सत्यन विततः इति पूर्वेण संबंध 
आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट आई एम सींग सो अवर साधना एट द लेवल ऑफ अवर एक्शन शुड बी सत्य एट द लेवल ऑफ अवर इमोशंस ऑल्सो शुड बी सत्य वी शुड नॉट हैव फॉल्टी इमोशंस फॉल्टी इमोशंस मीन्स those emotions are not sometimes tuned to our uh, deep understanding therefore this upasana is very important people don't understand the importance of upasana upasana is to tune our emotions to that parmatma whom you have understood you should have that intense love and devotion bhagwan himself is there presenting himself in front of us as this world bhagwan is present in each and everything hmm maya tatam idam sarvam jagat avyakta murtina that we have understood but that should get expressed through our emotions when we look at this world we should look as though we are looking at bhagwan and that is what we hear the stories of great bhaktas in the modern times also and in ancient our scriptures also like the gopis and all they could see bhagwan krishna everywhere in the sky in the clouds in the in the river in the in the butter in water in uh, uh, milk in the cows everywhere they could see krishna hmm so our emotions should get tuned to our understanding and understanding should be tuned to the shastras so we should understand the reality as per the shastra what is indicated in our upanishad not your own fanciful imaginary reality uh, not the reality which we learn from some whatsapp messages or something like that but what is revealed in the shastras ha huh? so our buddhi should be filled should be permeated with that understanding of brahma and touching that buddhi is our mind which is filled with emotions so emotions should be tuned with that understanding and mind is connected towards senses so senses should be able to see that parmatma through through all these senses and our action should be tuned to that that is called satya satya means not just speak the truth but inside you are thinking something else hmm sometimes suddenly some guest and all comes to our home we say oh you have come very nice i am so happy to see you welcome welcome and inside we are thinking oh, why this fellow came ha kuch kaam dhanda nahi achanak aa jate hai kahan se hmm but kya kare mere chacha hai i have to smile at him ha so our speech is different our feelings are different our understanding is different that is not the path which will take us to brahma just like we have to need a we have to thread a needle the thread should be totally single pointed then only we can thread it properly similarly our our actions our uh, our emotions and our understanding should be integrated with the knowledge of the shastras not integrated with some faulty vicious uh, philosophies hmm nowadays in kali yug people are generally confused and uh, filled with all sorts of wrong philosophies tulsidas ji says kali yug it will the path will get covered the proper path will get covered just like in the rainy season 
the foot paths and all in the through the forest and all gets covered with lot of grass lot of weeds and all grow and you don't see the path similarly in kali yug lots and lots of different philosophies and people keep on pouring out their ignorance and the real teaching of the shastras get covered hmm. lot of people claim themselves to be great uh, teachers and great uh, philosophers and all they try to give their own own fancy philosophy which are not in tune with the shastras anything anyone says which is not in tune with bhagavad gita with the upanishads with the with ramayana with mahabharat with the puranas we can just throw them out they are not worth anything shastras are the ultimate praman so our buddhi should gain the proper understanding then it should get expressed through our feelings that is our upasana and it gets expressed through our action that is karma yoga so karma yoga upasana jnana should get tuned together then only we can do dhyana otherwise dhyana is not possible so karma yoga upasana jnana and then comes dhyana okay this is very important so satyam eva jayati nanritam satyam eva jayate it should be satyam eva jayate nanritam satyena pantha vitato devayanah ena kramanti rishiyo yapta kamaah yatra tat satyasya paramam nidhanam so the rishis who are apta kam who are free from all other desires having that pure antakarana when they pursue this path of satya they attain the abode of satya that is parmatma they attain that brahma which is the very abode of satya like 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 the sun surya if i want to see the sun how can i see the sun when i look around i can see everything bright and beautiful then there are what are these these are all rays coming from the sun so you just pick up any ray and just trace it back to its source and you will see the sun the rays of the sun will take you to the sun similarly the rays are of the sun they are just uh, expression of the sun similarly all these great values which are mentioned in our shastra satya dha, dharma ahimsa hmm? ahimsa satyam asteya brahmacharya parigraha अमानित्वम अदम भित्व अहिम साक्षातिराजवम आचार्योपासनम शौचम स्थैर्यत्म विनिग्रह ऑल दिस वैल्यूज आर लाइक रेज कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट ब्रह्म सो होल्ड डाउन टू एनी वन रे इवन वन रे इज फाइन यू होल्ड डाउन टू इट हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड इट विल टेक अस टू ब्रह्म बट यू होल्ड डाउन टू सम रॉन्ग थिंग एंड इट विल नॉट टेक अस टू ब्रह्म Asatya will not take us because asatya path doesn't lead to Brahma. Himsa will not take us to Brahma. Hypocrisy, lie, pride, jealousy, fear, confusion will not take us to Brahma because that is a different path. It takes us to some other place. But if you want to attain Brahma. then hold on to that path which takes us to brahma and that is that satya so satyena pantha vitata devayanah enakramanti rishiyo yapta kamah yatra tat satyasya paramam nidhanam okay 
So what is that Param Dham? What is that Brahma which we can attain through Satya? What is the nature of that Supreme Pada which we attain by perceiving this path of Satya? That is now being said in the next mantra. So let us chant the next mantra. Brahacha tat divya machinti rupam Sukshmacha tat sukshmataram vibhati Durat sudure tadhi ihanti kecha Pachasvihaiva nihitam guhayam Brahacha tat divya machinti rupam Sukhsmasya tat sukhsmataram vibhati Durat sudure tadihanti kecha Pachyat svihaiva nihitam guhayam What is that supreme truth, that Brahma? He says, Brahacha, it is Brahat. Brahat means vast, all-pervading. That truth is all pervading. The supreme truth, that Brahma, is all pervading. With our sadhana, with our buddhi, we have to learn to recognize it. We don't have to create that Brahma. We don't have to go anywhere. We have to recognize it within our own antakkaran only. Yeah. See, sometimes we may experience certain things. Experience, actually, we have the experience of Brahma. In our deep sleep, we experience Brahma. But we don't recognize it. We have to recognize that Brahma in the waking state. We have to recognize that Brahma in this world. We have to recognize this Brahma in our Antakkaran also. So that Brahma is all pervading. Divyam, it is divine, achintya rupam, and it is uh, actually something which is, which is, uh, which doesn't uh, come under the grip of our, our mind. You cannot think about it. Means it cannot be defined. It's because it doesn't. It's like space. You cannot conceptualize, you cannot uh, put free, uh, the space within some uh, uh, limit. It's unlimited. So this Brahma also is achintya. Sukshmacha tat sukshmataram vibhati. It is subtler than the subtlest. It shines. Durat sudure. For an ignorant person it is very far. But a wise person, an intelligent seeker, come to see it very close. Tadhi antikecha pachyatsu hiheva nihitam guhaya. Sees it in the heart of all beings and comes to see it in his own innermost uh, uh, heart. In the heart, one comes to, means in the antakkarana, we come to realize that self. More about this, this mantra we will see again in our next class. So next class will be on uh, Monday. So till then you take care, be happy, safe, peaceful, healthy, do your work, do your sadhana. Listen to the pravachan again and we will uh, continue with this next class. But tomorrow is a very uh, auspicious and a special day. So we will have a special uh, session tomorrow. Tomorrow is Bhagwan Sri Adi Shankara Charity's uh, Jayanti. We have to, though we should remember Bhagwan all the time, every day. But tomorrow we will, uh, we will spend some time remembering and uh, and uh, uh, what you call chanting some mantras and all in our remembrance of Bhagwan Sri Adi Shankara Chariji. Okay? So tomorrow we will celebrate Adi Shankara Chariji's Jayanti same time 12 to 1 
and offer our gratitude and deep regards and respect to our teacher Bhagwan Sri Adi Shankar Acharya Ji. So we meet again tomorrow. Till then, take care. Hari Om. Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram 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 Jaya Jaya Ram Jaya Jaya Ram Bhali Siyava Ram Chandra Bhagwan Ki Jaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om